Recently, Hunter Hesselheim in today's show, we have a story on Hunter Hesselheim's signing, more information about the dance tonight, and a social media segment. I'm Emma. And I'm Jake, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. SEAF scholarship applications are now open. The deadline is today at 4 p.m. Washburn Tech students, turn your final waivers in before you leave today. Everyone else needs to turn them in during lunch. Breakfast and lunch will be offered next week during finals. Students waiting for the bus should meet in the Commons area for study hall. Students who would like to join the Writing Center staff should see Ms. Sands. Applications are due on the 17th. The Boys and Girls Club is looking to hire part-time employees. If interested in applying, please reach out to Amy Erickson. FBLA will host Ugly Sweater Dance tonight after the game. Here's Emery with more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Riley Poulter and she's going to talk to us about the Ugly Sweater Dance tonight. So, what is it? FBLA is sponsoring the Ugly Sweater Dance tonight and it's just a dance for everyone to come out, have fun. It's a casual dance and it's a $5 admission. What time is it? It starts at 9.30 and goes to 11.30, which is also after the basketball game tonight. So you should just come on out because the game theme tonight is Christmas sweater. So you can just go out to the dance after the games are over. And what should people wear? Well, it is ugly Christmas sweater, but you can wear anything Christmas. You also don't have to wear a Christmas sweater, but like you're encouraged to. But just please come. It'll be fun. It's like the last casual dance of the year. So I'm looking to see a lot of people there. All right, thanks, Riley. Now back also, to your anchors. Also, sorry, but bust down for babies. Okay. <laughs> now back to your anchors. The dance starts at 9.30 and ends at 11.30. Cost is $5. Highland Community College at Perry has an open enrollment now through January 14th. Join Student Council in the library on Monday, December 16th from 4 to 7 p.m. for cookies, cream, and cocoa for any last-minute studying. Now we're sports after this commercial break. Ethan, I mean Elias. What are you doing, man? I ain't running, running, running. What is it? Ugly sweater dance. What do I need to bring? Well. It has an ugly sweater. <laughs> the ugly sweater dance is this Friday from 9.30 to 11.30, or whenever the basketball game ends. The cost is $5 to get in. Hope to see you there. I'm gonna go home and watch some Disney Plus. See you tomorrow. Be safe, there's supposed to be a nasty storm. We're tracking round two of winter weather this week. Look at this, a much more widespread area of snow The girls and boys basketball teams will play Manhattan tonight at home. Make sure to wear your ugly sweaters. Today at 1.15, Nia Brown will sign her letter of intent to play softball at Johnson County Community College. Congratulations, Nia. Two weeks ago, Seaman baseball player Hunter Hesselhein signed with Barton. Let's go see how it went. Recently, Hunter Hesselhein signed to play baseball at Barton Community College. I chose Barton because they gave me the best scholarship, which included the most money. I want to meet my teammates play under Coach Biggs and Coach McBride because they have a lot of history around them and they're a very good program. And I just want to get the Barton to hit some dingers. His teammates and coaches will miss his presence on the team, but will always recall some of their best memories with Hunter. Memory with Hunter. Um, probably had it been the first game of state last year where he went out and dueled with Arc City. Uh, it was a 1-0 game and just being able to watch him compete and 
he just brings a lot of energy when he does that. Uh, we were in Florida and we were kayaking on the ocean and uh, he tipped my kayak and threw my paddle like probably like 30 yards away from me. So I had to swim back from the buoy and it sucked. Hunter is looking to keep improving his senior season and start as a freshman in college. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Hunter can do uh, in his senior year on the mound. He had a great sophomore and junior year. Um, he was excellent last year for us after he got healthy. Um, pitched really well and had a big time hit um, down in Wichita during the state games. Um, and just excited to see what he can do this year. Hopefully he can achieve some more personal goals he set and help us reach our team goals. Good luck and congratulations to Hunter. Your teammates and coaches are excited to see what college holds for you. Congratulations Hunter and good luck at Barton. That's all for sports today. Now over to Josh to see if we can get a three day weekend. A three-day weekend? Are you kidding me? Let's see if it's possible. We are looking at the likelihood of snow Sunday, maybe into Monday. And we are going to spend the entirety of this weathercast focusing on this potential for some wintry weather. So let's take a look. Sunday at 9 o'clock in the morning, you can see we are expecting some dry air across the state of Kansas. And that's going to limit any precipitation from reaching the ground. So we should be dry Sunday morning. Then late afternoon, the snow chances really start to increase and into the evening probably will be snowing by around 6 p.m. on Sunday. Keep in mind, if you're heading home from the Chiefs game, road conditions could be deteriorating by that point. And then this could continue through Sunday evening into Sunday night and maybe lasting as late as Monday morning. There's still some uncertainty in the exact timing, but confidence is much higher than what it was on Wednesday. Now, in terms of a very early projection of how much snow we're talking about, here's our snowfall outlook. An 80% chance of at least one inch of snow that chance drops off to 60% for two inches or more and 40% chance of three inches of snow or more. Now the question everybody wants to know, will we get one more snow day this decade? And I don't have an exact answer for you obviously, but there is a low to medium probability and it's the highest chance we've had so far this semester. Taking a look at the SVTV seven day forecast, that does show a very nice day today. 56 degrees, get out and enjoy it before the cold slams in. Highs below freezing Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with snow likely Sunday into Monday. Luckily, sunshine returns as we head toward the middle of next week, but still cold with highs in the 30s and 40s. Now, Jake and Emma, back to you. Social media asked recently what you would change about the world. Let's see the results. Welcome back, Vikes. Last week, we asked you guys to respond to our YOLO about what you would change in the world for this Thanksgiving season. We got a few great responses. One of them was somebody would like to get rid of hatred. Another response we got is someone said that they'd like Mr. D to wear cowboy boots and Wrangler jeans. I think I'd like to see that too, that'd be hilarious. Another person said they'd like to get rid of ants. They're just bad. If I could change anything, I would probably change the intolerance of gays and transgenders in this world. I think everybody's entitled to their own beliefs and choices, and you should be able to do what makes you happy. Make sure to respond to the Instagram story at Seaman Vikings TV and let us know what your plans are over winter break. Study hard for those finals and have a great rest of your day, Vikes. and reply to Seaman Viking TV's question of what you're doing over Christmas break. Enjoy the rest of your day before finals week begins.